Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of To The Limit where we push ourselves to, guess what? The Limit! Now this week we'll be challenging ourselves to live the life of Victoria's Secret Models. So Victoria's Secret was founded in 1977 and since then they have created lingerie, perfumes, swimsuits and so much more. They've even created the super iconic Victoria's Secret fashion show. So we all know that these models are genetically made to be goddesses but it's no secret that they all work for their bodies. <laughs> Unlike me, their diet and workout plans are also some of the toughest to exist. So for this week, we'll be dieting and exercising like these models are trying to... Amanda has invited me down today. I hope it's not for another challenge because if you guys watched the previous video over here, you'll know that I hate challenges, especially when it comes to diet. So yeah, let's see what Amanda has in store for me. <laughs> another diet. Serious, sister? No. No, I don't want. No. <laughs> Some things that we have to do are to work out at least once a day for 60 minutes. I think I'm a generally very fit person. But even I don't work out 60 minutes a day, I work out like 60 minutes a week. <laughs> Look at my face, I'm so excited. I love you so much, my gosh. What is flexing? Oh, it comes with a list of what I can and cannot eat. Let's see. So what I should Avoid includes salt, dairy, excess carbs, white carbs, fried food, sugar, gluten and processed food. Okay, so <clears throat> I love my bubble tea. How dare you? I love my rice. How dare you? <laughs> I think my only problem will be that I do enjoy snacking. I snack all the time. I snack on gummy bears. I snack on like sugary drinks. I snack on potato chips all the time. So that might be a little bit of a problem. I think if I limit my carbs and dairy and all of these things, right, I'm going to be severely underweight. It's going to be a challenge for me because whatever things I should eat, right, is things that I do not eat. So I'll try to avoid everything and then I'll end up not eating at all and then that's it. I'm not going to lose anything. I'm going to lose my life. Amanda, <laughs> I really don't want to do this. So this week, I will be joining the three of them, Sierra, Juhi and Jasmine. So for me, since I'm the one who pretty much put them on this diet, right, I will have to take it a bit further in the sense that I can't cheat at all. That is my number one goal. Okay, now to think of it, right, I'm a bit scared. Now I look at the paper, I'm just like a bit scared. Sierra, does it mean that I can't eat any bread at all? No bread! Let's go! Good morning. It is the first day and I just finished my workout. So I just did that and now I'm gonna make breakfast because breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Hi guys, so right now I'm still in my exercising clothes and I am ready to eat lunch. My food looks super plain. I have like steamed fish, steamed broccoli, um, steamed tofu and two pieces of quail egg which I stole from my mom. So we're going to try this thing called Tabata and it's like a very good high intensity workout which is kind of like what models do so hopefully it will be accurate-ish. We are having dinner and uh, I have to say I'm going to cheat because I got no choice. Cheater! <laughs> because this restaurant's food is all super good. I'm not going like, to not eat, okay? Happy birthday to you! <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm supposed to exercise tonight, but I can't. So I'm just gonna sweat it out on the dance floor. That's considered exercise. That's considered cardio, okay? Right then, dancing yes. is considered cardio, right? It is. I'm right, we. Right. Huh? Just say yes. 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 I tried aerial yoga. It was actually interesting. It was super fun because I was like hanging on strings and all. But it's not as easy as it seems, and like. Yes. Bonk. Going out with your friends, going on a date, going out anywhere is so damn difficult. I had a birthday party where they were like drinking constantly and they were eating so good fried food and I'm there holding my damn tapue filled with salmon and stupid broccoli. So right now I'm in the room and I am hiding. These are my friends and I'm eating my supposed to be lunch and I'm not enjoying the good food in this party and this sucks. Honestly, it sucks. And then I just want to take like one piece of like fried sweet and sour fish and I can't. It's so damn sad. 
Day 2 was the first hurdle because Sierra and I had to go for a media tasting. There was so much fried food and there were so many desserts and I just had them all because I wanted to indulge. It's okay to take a rest day, it's okay to take a cheat day as long as you make up for it. We're not supposed to eat dessert, let alone ice cream and freaking banana crumble. Okay, I'm just gonna stare at y'all eat now. Here's the thing guys, I am still a student who is working part-time job so it's really kind of hard for me to find time within my schedule to wake up early or uh, sleep later. It's about like 9 to 10 plus now and I'm gonna go sit in a workout. Wish me luck. And then after that, you know at night, I have social activities like hanging out with my friends because you know. Hi guys! So right now I'm at the Sketchers event and I'm with Debbie. One thing that I gained from even just the first day of doing the diet and the workout was that it's a lot easier to work out with friends or like people that you know or have someone there just supporting you alongside because if you have no one to do the workout with you will not want to do the workout and that's what happened to me on day two I ended up just doing maybe about like a hundred squats in my bedroom and then I was like I'll call it a night that's good enough for me <laughs> So right now I'm at McDonald's having breakfast once again and I'm having pancake and this and oh my god I feel bad for breaking the rules but still let me just enjoy my breakfast On the third day which was a Thursday I went to dance class because I love dancing This class was a dance hall class and for those of you who don't know what dance hall is it's a dance form that relies very heavily on your thighs and when I went home, my thighs were burning. So stupid me, I went to arrange dance on Thursday night and boxing on Friday morning. I've never had my butt kick harder than in those 12 hours. How do you still have so much energy? I hate you. Yeah, and now we still have to go to work. <laughs> all right, all right. I don't feel physically extremely tired. I just feel very brainy at this part of time. It's not mum legs or jelly. Help, Sierra has passed out. Good morning, Sierra. Okay, so I know that today I was talking about how difficult the class was, but honestly, it was so bad. I've never had my butt kicked more than last night and this morning. Like, my whole body is suffering from really bad exhaustion, but my mind is still very active, so I can't go to sleep. It's day four and I'm not having fun. I don't know how I'm gonna do tomorrow, but we'll see. <laughs> of the diet and workout plan. Today's the last day. I'm super excited because I finally get to eat all my junk food. <laughs> Today's the last day and I just finished my workout. Yeah, I'm gonna eat breakfast now. I'm exhausted. So for me, dieting is a commitment and it's something I really can't do. I just cannot take that every day. No carbs, no dairy, no everything. Oh my god, goodbye. Have a great day. Have a nice life. It's not for me. So the thing I appreciated the most, right, is my flat stomach afterwards. Because I always have this pregnant looking stomach after eating lots of sugar and lots of fried food and lots of good food. You feel really good after exercising. You feel like, oh my god, tomorrow abs is coming out. But absolutely nothing came out. Would I try this again? The answer is no. And here is why. I believe that diets are very temporal. If you diet too strictly and then after that you eat, Per normal, you are going to gain back some weight. That's what we call yo-yo, yo-yo weight. I think I'm gonna stick to what I know best is to eat healthy as much as I can but of course when I want to indulge, I indulge in the stuff that I know I want to indulge in. At the end of the day, you need to do what's comfortable for you. Overall, I don't think the dieting was very difficult. I thought that was quite easy because from the K-pop diet to this one, honestly anything is better than that for me. <laughs> but the workout was quite a challenge. I would do the diet and workout plan again if I had more rest days in between and was not so stupid to plan two very intense activities in one. As people who work and have jobs and are not supermodels, 
we actually have to wake up earlier or sleep later to create time to mm. work out. Which is not fun. Yeah. yeah. And supermodels because they actually do that, right? Yeah, that's their o- only job. Most of them, they only do that. So they just wake up, chill out, work out, work out, come yeah. home, you know? Exactly. But we can't do that. Yeah, and now my thigh hurts, so I'm gonna stand up and move away. <laughs> Overall, this challenge has been slightly easier than the last one. I think it's because I was more motivated to do it. But eventually, it gets easier. You tend to you you find substitutes for what you like to eat. So I actually bought cauliflower rice, which I tried for the first time. It's not bad. My boyfriend is person is quite a health freak. So I felt like this diet was a very good opportunity for me to you know pick up interest in what he has passion for. On the first few days of the diet, I actually went to the supermarket and I video called him. I learned a lot of new information that is very good for me to like know in terms of health, but it also helped me to get closer to my boyfriend, Aww. which you know is a plus point, so yeah. The moral of the story, only diet if you really want to diet and you want to lose weight for yourself. Don't do it for anyone else. Don't do it for a boy, don't do it for your family. Make sure you're dieting because you want to do it. If you love yourself, you'll naturally take care of yourself. So that's it for the end of this video. Make sure you like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell down below and comment so that we know what you want to see next. Okay, bye! I'm gonna go drink my bubble tea!